You don't have to spin an arm and a leg to always look put together and beautiful. There are so many maintenance routines you can do in the comfort of your own home. I love a really good thorough maintenance routine at home, especially now that it seems like the prices of everything are skyrocketing. I feel like it's now more important than ever to learn how to budget and learn what you should be paying for and what you can be doing at home instead. I am such a DIY girl. I do almost every single thing at home. Even when I feel like splurging and getting things done professionally, I always love to learn to do it by myself. In this video I'll be sharing some low budget maintenance tips that will make you look high maintenance and luxurious. These tips will save you hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Hi, my name is Reyna. I create content for women about how to level up and look better and feel better. So if you want to know some ways that you can save your money and look put together and polished at home, you need to keep watching this video. Stop spinning an arm and a leg to get rid of your body hair. If you want to have a really nice and polished appearance, having smooth and soft hairless skin is super important. But it can also cost a lot of money. It's about $50 to $100 per session. And if you're getting this done regularly, this can really add up quickly. So I learned how to wax my entire body by myself at home. I use an Amazon waxing kit and you guys it's not even that much money and I love it so much I use it regularly. I mainly use it on my legs and my armpits whenever I feel the need to. I don't use this on my pubic hairs for that I do shave because I just find that that skin is way more sensitive and shaving really makes me feel more comfortable. I use the Venus pubic hair razor and I love it so much because it's so sharp and I've never had a problem with nicks or razor burns. Another thing you can do if you are scared to wax yourself at home and you find that it's really painful, especially when you do it by yourself at home, use baby powder on the area that you're about to wax. This will help to prevent any really harsh pain. For shaving, I always make sure I use a body scrub beforehand because this is gonna make your skin super soft and smooth. You can also do this before a wax, but when you do it before a wax, you have to do it a couple of days before your wax. You don't wanna use any super harsh body scrubs like AHA because it can really irritate your skin after you wax. As for shaving, you could use this the same day as your shave. I have a lot of good videos on how to shave properly at home that I am going to link down below. But basically, you just need a body scrub, a good shaving gel, and a good sharp razor. Make sure you are switching your razors out regularly because when your razor is dull, that's what's going to cause razor burns and razor bumps. I love to get my eyebrows done. This is probably my biggest expense when it comes to beauty. I get brow lamination, so that comes with a tin and a three. Writing. Having really good, clean, and precise eyebrows really makes you look super clean, super polished, and really beautiful. It is the best way to elevate your entire look. I look completely different when my eyebrows are done and when they're not done. But I spend a lot of money getting my brows laminated. I don't know how much it is where you guys are at, but for me, it's like around $170 per session. And one of the biggest things I love about getting my eyebrows done are dyeing my eyebrows because they regularly grow in really, really light. I've tried so many eyebrow dye kits and I feel like a lot of them don't give me what I want the only kit that I have found that's literally a life changer is a men's beards dye. This beard dye is my favorite for eyebrows. I forgot where I learned this trick, but at first I was hesitant because I was like, beards dye, how is that gonna work for me? But after trying it, I can never go back to anything else. And I love that they have a whole bunch of different shades. You mix the two products together, you comb it in your eyebrows and you leave it on for five minutes. My suggestion is to get a Q-tip and wipe around your eyebrows so it doesn't stain your skin because it can easily easily stain your skin. And if you do find that a little bit has gotten on your skin and it's stained it slightly, use rubbing alcohol to get rid of it. After this, you can go ahead and shape your eyebrows or use tweezers. Now this just depends on your face shape and what you feel is best for your face shape and what you want your eyebrows to look like. But I definitely recommend using a face razor. A lot of people don't know how to thread at home. So just get a face razor and shape around your eyebrows and shave off your unibrow and shave your face as well. This is going to give you a super clean look and it's going to look like you just got a brow lamination. So if you are a girl that loves getting lash extensions, I heard that cluster lashes are where it's at. There are so many great videos on TikTok and YouTube on how to apply cluster lashes. I've done it once before in college and they came out so pretty. I was obsessed with them. They look like your natural lashes. I think that this is such a great way to elevate your look because when girls have really nice, pretty, long lashes, it just makes them look more beautiful. 
I would definitely use this for events, but even if you're just a lash girl, you like wearing your lashes pretty often, this is a great way to get that lash extension look. I personally don't wear lashes because I think I look really weird in them. Like I think that they make me look older. And I do find that I feel like most girls look better with very minimal to no lashes at all. I think that it makes you look more natural and younger. So my suggestion if you want to grow your lashes at home is to get castor oil or Vaseline and put this on your lashes every single night. You can even use a spoolie to make sure it's applied throughout your lashes evenly. And to get the voluminous look with mascara, I love L'Oreal Telescopic. That makes my lashes look super voluminous and pretty. So you can spend so much money getting your teeth professionally whitened. I've had my teeth professionally whitened before when I was in high school and that was like $800, which I'm really glad that I got that because it did last me two years. My teeth looked really white and I got a lot of compliments, but I found that using whitening strips are as beneficial as getting your teeth professionally whitened. The Crest whitening strips are the best. One of the things that you should know though is when you're using whitening strips back to back, you can start to get toothaches because it's really going to target your enamel. So make sure you're using a toothpaste that's for sensitive teeth like Sensodyne. Never buy a toothpaste that has whitening properties because that is so harsh on your teeth. Make sure you're also brushing your teeth regularly so you're not leaving yellow stains. If you're drinking coffee, use straws and just have a good dental hygiene in general that you do on a routinely basis. I love this brand of Crest whitening strips. I used it regularly and it made my teeth super white in a natural way. Having super white teeth leaves such a good first impression to a lot of people and people will be obsessed with your smile. This is the best way to elevate your look. Having your hair done is so important. When you're leaving the house and your outfit looks okay but your hair looks amazing, you will get so much attention. Now, if you feel like your hair is not where it needs to be, you're waiting for your hair appointment and you have no idea what style to do doing a sleek bun or a sleek low ponytail is the best route to go this is an easy way to get a really classy and clean look without doing too much you look super put together but also low effort which a lot of people are very attracted to here are some pictures of some sleek buns that I love and also some sleek ponytails that work on straight and also really curly hair because I feel like sleek ponytails also look really good you want to make sure you buy a really good edge control too you don't want to do like really crazy obnoxious baby hairs because those look crazy you want to make sure your baby hairs are very very minimal I know a lot of girls talk about getting like toothbrushes to do their baby hairs I personally find that that's a really easy way to take out too much baby hairs and I just use a spoolie and it helps me not take too much hairs out but enough to where it looks natural you can even learn how to do blowouts on your hair at home I love my babyless blow dryer it's the easiest way I can get that blown out look my hair right now it's from the babyless wand curl wanding your hair is also a great way to get a really nice put together look so if you can't afford a lot of the hairstyles that you see on Pinterest or online that you think are really cute you can't afford to get it done at a salon learn how to do it yourself there are such great YouTube videos teaching you how to silk press your hair blow out your hair or wand your hair it is so important to invest in your hair health first of all because if you're just doing styles and you're not taking care of your natural hair you're wasting your time your natural hair is more important than doing styles to cover up your damage. So always take care of your hair first of all. Look for good shampoos and conditioners for your hair type. I stopped getting my nails done professionally so long ago. A lot of times I just do it at home. The only time I'll get my nails done professionally is when I get it done for my birthday or some special type of event. You can buy press on nails, which I love the OPI press on nails. Those are so nice and they have a lot of cute styles. Or you can buy a gel X kit, which I did and I learned how to do gel X nails at home. The OPI press on nail line has a lot of really nice natural styles that you could use every single day and they're safer for your nails since they're not acrylic and they're not breaking down your nail barrier. To do gel X nails at home, you do need an LED light and you need a few polishes. You can get a lot of these on Amazon and I also have it on my Amazon storefront. My favorite creator that helped me learn how to do my own nails at home is Jess Liz on TikTok and YouTube. I feel like she makes it super easy for you to learn how to do your own nails. And once you get the hang 
of learning how to do your own nails, you will never want to get them done again. Acrylic nails can really add up and they cost a lot of money, like in between $30 to $50. And with it only lasting about a month, you could really just buy a Gelex kit or you can buy press on nails and do the same exact thing at home. Keeping your nails really neat and polished is a great way to look really sophisticated. And it's super easy to do on a budget. You don't have to buy super high end makeup to look put together either. I love the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. That's my favorite drugstore foundation. The e.l.f. concealer is also a really good concealer to use. The no makeup makeup look is such a good way to look put together. I'm gonna put some pictures up here on what I mean. And you really don't need to cake your face up with makeup to achieve this look. NYX has a really good setting spray and I really love the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. If you're looking for the super glossy look, that's kind of a dupe of the Fenty Beauty Gloss. But your makeup won't matter unless you're really taking care of your skin because skin is number one. Similar to hair, if your hair does not look good naturally, if your skin is not looking good and healthy naturally, how will your makeup look on top of that? So the best way to achieve the best no makeup makeup look is literally by making sure your skincare is the best. I used to struggle with skincare all the time, especially when I was in college and high school when I had no money. So I had to really look for some products that I could actually afford that wouldn't break the bank but would also help my skin. So if you have acne, you need to look for the ingredients benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. Make sure the product that you're looking for for your acne does not have fragrance. I'm going to list these acne products down below that are affordable, that don't have fragrance, or that have benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. Looking for a good retinol, a good over-the-counter retinol is really good too to keep your skin looking wrinkle-free and youthful. Staying on top of your skincare will make your makeup look amazing and flawless. I don't care what anyone says, learn from me. Even when I had really bad acne, really bumpy skin, I would cake on makeup and I literally looked worse because I was trying to hide a problem that was clearly there. So you need to take care of your acne and your skin and your hyperpigmentation before you can really achieve that really flawless look. And when I was growing up and I had really bad skin, I wasn't worried about getting super expensive products. And I was still able to clear my skin up significantly just from using products that weren't a whole bunch of money. If you do find that you prefer a more expensive product but you want to cut down, get the travel sizes. I used to always do this whenever I knew I wanted products but I couldn't afford full package. I would just get the travel sizes and they worked as well. And I also stretched it out longer because I knew it was such a small size so I didn't use more than I needed to. Some of my favorite ways to look for affordable clothes and jewelry when I don't feel like spending a fortune is to look on Facebook Marketplace. They have so many good finds of clothes and jewelry that people would never think. You could also go thrifting or go on Mercari. This is a really easy way to enhance your look especially when you're using certain jewelry pieces. Don't get me wrong, I really love a good expensive jewelry piece that's like a statement piece, but I also have some nice earrings that are not pure gold that I wear that I absolutely love with some outfits. H&M and Target have really good options for clothes and jewelry that are not super expensive too. Because at the end of the day, it's not about looking for the most expensive clothing item or jewelry piece. It's about finding something that looks classy on you or something you can make classier. Doing simple things like steaming your clothes, ironing your clothes, making sure they're not rough or they're not any holes in it, just make you look put together more easily. You don't have to spend a lot of money on designer brands or clothes that are just super expensive just for a classy look. There are so many clothes that are really expensive that do not look classy and do not look put together and that actually look cheaper than what they're selling it for. So having a good capsule wardrobe is super important. Having a lot of neutral colors in your closet that you could wear every single day and just keeping a lint roller around so you don't have lint on your clothes. These are just easy ways to look more classy and put together. Okay, ladies, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos on how to level up and more glow up tips and advice. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.